Let's take a look at these two Simpson meters. This is a 390 and this is a 390-2. I don't know if they made a 390-1. I don't think I've ever seen one labeled that way. These are fundamentally the same piece of equipment. The 390 and the 390-2 are both to measure watts and amps of a piece of equipment that's connected through them. This is an invaluable tool to have when you're working on audio equipment. So many times I've read about people working on their own gear and trying to repair it, and they think they have it completed, and they think everything should be okay. They plug it in, turn it on, and magically enough, smoke comes out of the unit, something's wrong, fries components, blows up transistors, and usually the thing's ruined. With a piece of equipment like this in use with a Variac, you can assess the condition of the unit after you've worked on it before you ever get to the type of voltage levels that can cause a unit to blow up. Let's take a look at these two units. I think that these were probably made in the 50s or early 60s. The 390 was made first. It's a good old school Simpson meter. It's an all Bakelite case, so you want to make sure you don't drop them because you break it. Uh, the original 390, it used these knurled binding posts to attach the test leads. You just loosen the screws. You would slip the spade connector off the test lead underneath, tighten it back down, and you're ready to go. When the 390-2 came out, they went with an improved test lead connector. I'll put this one off to the side. These use a socketed connection, and the test lead has matching sockets. So to set it up, all you have to do is black on voltage. Those two connections and the red and the white leads are color-coded to match the red and white dots on the panel. And all you do is choose which level you want to read up to. You have 300 watts, 600 watts, 1500 watts, and up to 3000 watts. So for most audio equipment, the 300 watt level is sufficient. White goes there, red goes there, and you're good to go. This is a really important piece of equipment to have. Yeah, I think it's so important to have that I have two. And I'm always on the lookout for another one. Usually, if you're patient and you look on eBay, you can find one of these for sometimes as little as $15 or $20. They're not super expensive. Most people really don't have any idea what they're for. It's just sort of an old piece of test equipment. They think it's kind of cool. They sell it, make a few bucks, and that's it. For the kind of work that you do on audio equipment, it's invaluable. Uh, that's why I have two. If something were to happen to one, fell off the bench and broke, or something else happened to it, I have a backup. That's why I'm looking for a third one and a fourth one, because for 20 bucks, how can you go wrong? It's a good piece of gear. It's important to have. It's not a lot of money to spend, and it can tell you things about your equipment that you can't find any other way.